Okay, I'm just going to shoot a quick video here, uh, walk into the assembly of my Makina interface enclosure. Uh, so this is the Makina open source vehicle interface. If you want to know more about this little guy, you can check out their website, uh, M-A-C-C-H-I-N-A dot C-C, or look them up on Kickstarter. Uh, so I just wanted a little simple case to keep over mine while I do development stuff so it doesn't get shorted out. Uh, got mine right here on the raft still, right out of the printer. On my cut resistant gloves so I don't slice myself with my sharp and putty knife. Uh, I tried to print this out at 0.2 millimeters and uh, I was getting a little binding on the buttons and stuff. I had to go down to 0.15 to really get a nice clearances on this thing. Uh, maybe you have a better print of mine and you can do it at point two, but yeah, it didn't work for me. So, got this guy off the raft. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, some little stragglers and stuff hanging on. Just make sure everything is uh, cleaned up pretty good. I usually try to make sure the case fits together before sticking it over anything. Uh, make sure there's no binding or anything funny going on because once you get the device in there, things are going to be really tight. And make sure it's good before the device is in there. So, seems like a good fit. Make sure I have the faceplate. Yeah, faceplate's good too. Alright. Make sure my buttons aren't binding. Uh, I did two different style buttons on here. Uh, flush and protrude. The flush ones are kind of flat with the surface, a little bit harder to press than the protrude ones stick out a little bit. Obviously print however many copies of whatever we want. Okay. So got our buttons in place. Uh, check and make sure they'll move up and down. No binding. Not gonna stop the switches from working. Buttons are good. Flat against the board. Okay. Should put the faceplate on. Uh, the faceplate should sit nice and flush. Uh, that's backwards. Nice and flush against the circuit board. Uh, there are little reliefs uh, drawn into the faceplate uh, for the USB connector and for the SD card, so that goes really flat against the circuit board. I don't have any kind of clipping mechanism or hardware or anything, it's just kind of a snug, tight fit. Uh, you could throw some clear tape around it if you wanted to make it stick together and you're planning on getting inside and out of it a bunch. If you want more permanent, you could put a couple dots of super glue on the outside corners and, you know, you're not going to plan on getting inside of it much, but uh, I just leave them put together like this, holds together pretty well. Uh, i got just enough clearance for the SD card, goes in and out, uh, you can still push it and make it eject. And USB cable. Fits well too. So, there you have it. Enjoy.